The word stand is richly planted in the foundation of our Lutheran identity. It is a word that has marked our history. On October 31, 1517, a monk named Martin Luther boldly took a stand against heretical church practices of the time. On the door of the Castle Church of Wittenberg, Germany, Luther posted 95 theses, that is, propositions exposing corruption in the church. The church store served as a public bulletin board before the days of newspaper, television, or social media. When he was severely pressured and threatened to recant, to formally withdraw his statements, Martin Luther spoke these infamous words. I cannot and will not recant anything, for to go against conscience is neither right nor safe. Here I stand, I can do no other, so help me God, amen. Here I stand, I can do no other. People today, young and old, we long for something worth standing for, worth living for, worth dying for. St. Paul tells us that something is someone. To live is Christ, to die is gain. Here I stand, I can do no other. Grace is the place where the believer stands. Christ alone is the means by which we persevere to stand. We can do no other. For it is God who places us, who causes us to stand. It is in His power, on His foundation, that we are empowered to stand because it is Christ who stands for us. This grace-based standing unites us 500 years later. We confess together in the one true faith that we stand in Christ alone. We stand in community as Christ's bride, the church, knowing it's only and fully in Christ alone that we may forgive each other, serve each other, and rejoice together for the Lord is near. We stand in humility in Christ alone, desiring to have the same mind, the same love of Christ, who modeled greatness for us by making himself nothing taking the form of a servant and becoming obedient to death, all for our benefit and salvation. We stand in the identity of our baptism. It is in Christ alone that God looks at us and says, you are my son, you are my daughter, with you I am well pleased. It is only with an identity in Christ alone that we can exclaim, I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. Take my accomplishments and my trophies, all my titles and degrees. Take my likes, follows, and friends, stack them up, and they're nothing next to the worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. I consider them rubbish that I may gain Christ. Yes, I want to know Christ and the power of His resurrection and the fellowship of sharing in His sufferings, becoming like Him in His death, and so somehow to attain to the resurrection from the dead. It is here that I stand. I can do no other. It is here that we stand, in Christ alone.